hey guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to create a professional and automated invoice for free using microsoft excel so we're going to use two steps we'll structure and format our spreadsheet and also use formulas to automate it so the first thing we're going to do is to open up the sheet once you open up the sheet you can change the sheet's name you can change it to invoice since you are creating an invoice once you're done with that click on view tab and click page layout once this page layout shows you can click on on this cell to type out your company name i'm going to type out the fictitious company i'll make it bold and click home tab then go over to select the font size after adjusting the font size i'm going to select from column b to d and click on home tab click major and center and select major across so for the other column and um, for row one and two i'm going to select two of them the two rows click home tab click major and center and also made across so for that particular row that i've made i will insert a logo so i click insert click pictures from the device then i'll go to where my logo is saved and I'll select the logo and insert it. After inserting the logo, I'm going to adjust it and align it properly. Then I'll also adjust the um, row with the height of the row a bit. Then I'll come to this cell and type invoice. I'll make it bold and also adjust the font size, increase the font size a bit. After increasing the font size, I'll Mage the two columns together, column H and I. I'll mage it across. Then I'll also align the invoice to the center. After now, I'm going to insert the shapes. I'll click on insert tab and click on shapes. Then I'll select the shape. So shape basically helps to improve the aesthetics of your of your document. So I'm going to just draw the shape. Then I'll go to click on shape format. Here I'll edit anything in the shape. I'll click shape outline select no outline then i'll fill in this color for this shape after that the next thing we will create in this invoice is to type out our customers information so their basic information that you can type out it could be your your of course your customer's name will be there your customer's phone number and address and any other important information about the person you're billing this invoice to So if we notice here, the first zero that was added to the phone number is no longer there. I have a well detailed video on how to add zeros and country dialing codes to phone number. I'll put the link in the description box. But in order to change it now, I'm going to select that cell and click on home tab. Then I'll go to numbers group and scroll down to numbers format. Then I'll click on custom category under the type I'm going to I'm going to type 0 and 10 ash when i type 10 ash you'll be seeing the sample preview of how the number will appear and i'll click ok so my number is actually aligned to the right i'll now align it to the left to match with the other information i'm going to select the two column a and b and select mage across then the next thing we're going to create is our invoice number invoice number is actually important so you can keep track of the invoices that you've sent to clients over time so i'll type number 100 then for dates i'm going to use the um, today function in excel to return today's date so today's date has been returned the next thing i'm going to type is the product number item description then quantity price and total you can insert a table here but i'm just going to use borders to create this particular part of the invoice so i'm going to select up to row 21 or maybe i just reduce it to row 20 and click on once i'm done i click on home tab i click borders and select all borders after selecting all borders for item description i'm going to select from column b to f and i click home tab i come to mage center select mage across then after merging it across i'm just going to select the entire um row adjust the height a bit and then i'll just align everything to the center 
So after aligning it to the center, I'm going to fill in a color for the headers of this particular table. I'm going to fill in a color and also change the font color to, to white. Then over here, I also want to add borders to that place. So I'll just select all borders. This um, little border is going to hold our subtotal, our discount or tax as the case may be and total. So I'm going to select all of, I'm going to select that particular cell and change the font color. Sorry, change the fill color and also make the font bolder. Once I'm done with that, I will start typing in my payment information. It's actually an important information in invoice. Type payment information. The payment information will include basic things like accounts, account number, account name, and your bank details. Once you're done creating that, you can just come and add maybe terms and conditions for your invoice. Terms and conditions are actually optional, but you can add it. So I'm going to type terms and conditions here and the terms and condition is going to be payments due within 10 days of invoice. So the clients know that they have to pay within 10 days of receiving this invoice. Then after, I'm just going to write a thank you for, for your patronage. So once you're done, the next thing, if you want this invoice to be signed, you can create a space for it to be signed. So on app, where you have this authorized sign, you can add your name if you are the CEO. So I'm going to merge that, those two cells across. I'm going to merge those two um, columns across. Then I'll insert a shape. I'm going to insert a line shape. Then I click on shape format to change the shape outline. After then, I'm going to add my brand information to this invoice. So brand information like your, your address, your phone number, and even your email or website too. So I'm going to select these three images and insert them. I'll just readjust the images. I readjust all the images and start selecting them one after the other. Then I'm going to merge these two cells together. I'll merge the two cells across. And I'll type my company's phone number there. After typing the company's phone number, I click on Home tab and align it to the center. I'm just going to readjust the phone icon. I'm going to readjust my email to that point. Then I'll type the email for this fictitious company. After typing the email, I'm going to select the cell. I'll just remove the on the underline that was there, change the color because it's a link. That's why the color change. I'm going to select these two cells and merge them across. Then I'll adjust it. I'll adjust the mail icon. Then for the address, I'm going to also adjust the icon a little bit. Then I'll merge those cells. I'm going to merge those cells across. Click Home tab, click Merge and Center, select Merge across. And type my address. So this Merge across, you can actually use the shortcut symbol Alt plus A plus M plus A. You just press them down together. So I'm going to align my address to the center. Then for the shape, I'll just duplicate this particular shape here. Instead of, if I duplicate it, I'll just align it a bit. Instead of inserting another shape, I'll just duplicate the shape and drag it down to the last part of my document. 
then I align it nicely here. Then I'll click on I'll click on shape format to edit this shape. I'll change the shape to another shape and and also align it properly. Once I'm done with that, I'm just going to view and see that um, all our text and everything is being correctly formatted. So I can just adjust any of the columns if I want to. I'm just going to adjust some of the columns to just make it maybe smaller. At this stage, you're done with the structure of your invoice. So you can type in the product your customer bought and send the invoice to them. But if you want to perform an automation with formulas, you have to collect your product information. Then create a table for it in another sheet. Create name ranges and then you can now go back to your invoice sheets. Back to our invoice, we select the products column and click on data tab, click on data validation. Then under here, we'll select a list and I'm going to use the name range that was created for the columns in my product table. I'll select OK. If I click on that icon, you see the product ID drop down list. So for here, for the item description, we're going to use the formula. We we'll use three functions and nest them together. So I'll start with an if function. For my logical test, it will be is blank. So is blank is just going to check this cell and return an empty string if the cell is blank return an empty string if not you perform a vlookup function so that is what this function is basically going to do so vlookup function i select lookup value write product as my table array column index number is two then i want it's two then i want an exact match close my brackets and press enter then i'll also write it's same formula for um, price. For quantity, you'll be the one to add the quantity of products that was purchased. So for price, I'm going to type if. Then for first logical test, it's going to be is blank. Just like the same formula. So this formula is going to say if the cell is blank, return a string. Else you perform a VLOOKUP function. And it's going to look up that value in our product table. Column index number is three. We want an exact match. Press enter. Then for total, we'll also use a, a logical function. So we'll type if function. So this function is basically going to say if this value is, is blank, return a, an empty string. If not, you perform this calculation quantity times price. Close my bracket and press enter. So after then, if I select any, okay, I'm just, I'll go to the subtotal and create a formula for it. So subtotal is going to be sum of all the total, but I'm going to make the total an absolute reference. So you can use name ranges there. This count is going to be the subtotal times 5%. That's my discount. Then total is going to be subtotal minus discount. Press enter. So if I select any product number that was being purchased by that client, everything is going to automate on its own. I can just select another product and okay, for here you have to drag your formulas down. So under item description, you drag down the formula. Then you do the same thing for price, drag down the formula. Always remember to add also drag down the formula for total. Always remember to add the quantity that was being purchased. So everything will calculate. So once you are done with this, you can come to format the price and total with your currency. If you have current clients, please just format it based on their currency click home tab go to numbers group click more numbers format then when you click on for um, currency under the symbol you scroll to where i'm looking for naira i've seen naira i'll click ok so everything has been formatted just the way i want it to be 
after here i'll just click on view tab tick off the grid lines and the grid lines are off from my document if you want to print these documents here i can just make some final readjustments to make sure everything is aligned properly if you want to print this um document you click on file tab scroll down to print and print so you can print it here or if you want to save it as pdf click on file tab scroll down to where you have exports click on it and create a pdf file so you select the folder which you want this um, document to be stored or to be saved i'm going to type invoice and click publish so once i publish my pdf this is a pdf file that has opened up so here you can email this file to your customers or to your clients so that's how you can create a professional invoice and automate it thank you so much for watching this video if you want to see more of these videos please subscribe to my channel and also like share and comment thank you so much guys